Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to do my video for all of the titles that I picked up during the month of September, so stick around. So today I'm going to take time to do my video of all of the titles that I picked up during the month of September. It was a huge month, a lot of releases. Um, the reason the video is kind of delayed is because I was still waiting for more titles to show up that were released um, because of the hurricane that I live near. Because um, I'm, I'm in Georgia, some of my packages were delayed. So I just got some of them in today, but I'm not going to go ahead. I'm not going to go ahead and wait for the other ones to arrive. I'm just going to go ahead and do what I received. I'm going to try to do these by release week. There were, there were four weeks during the month. So, like I said, there's quite a bit. So, first up, I'm going to do <clears throat> some pickups that I did from Viavision that came from Australia because I ordered directly from them. Um, this is the first week we got the Substitute Collection with this really nice lenticular box. Also, we got Dread, another lenticular box with the 4K and the 3D release. Really nice box set. I got the Smokey and the Bandit collection, which I really love. Um, the Lords of Salem. I've only watched this film once. I wasn't a big fan of it, <clears throat> but I do want to check it out again. And I also got um, Pandorum. I, I don't know how you pronounce that, but really nice um, slip box. So all of these are slip boxes. And then from um, Umbrella Entertainment, I got Late Night with the Devil, um, the collector's edition that comes with the VHS tape, which I'm keeping mine sealed for now. Um, from Screen Factory, I got The Boy, 4K release with a slip. From Kino Lorber, I got Chains of Gold, starring John Travolta. Got the 4K release for Sweeney Todd with the slip. And then I've got the 4K release for A League of Their Own with the slip. From Cult Classics in the UK, I got Orca the Killer Whale with a slip. And then I got this great release from Screen Factory for the Amityville Horror, the um, reboot. Really enjoyed this film. I love the original. And then from 101 Films, I got the black label of Incendies. <clears throat> so here is spine number 038. I did watch this movie for the first time this past week. Excellent movie. I gave it five stars on Letterboxd. If you've never seen the film, definitely check it out. It is a foreign language film. 100% um, worth the watch. So those are all of the titles that I got um, during the first week of um, September. Okay, during the second week, it was a huge week. Lots of releases. Um, first up, I got the Northman uh, 4K Steelbook box release. This right here is a numbered um, collection. Um, I know you probably can't see that number there. I got number 915 of 2000. I'm not sure if that'll focus, but it, there it is. It's one of those hard box um, Steelbook sets, which I'm going to keep mine sealed. I also got. Um, the Strangers from Screen Factory. Enjoy this movie. Glad to have this really nice 4K release. Also that week we got um, the Stepfather Collector's Edition 4K release. <clears throat> we also got Wind River. Love this movie. This right here is a Steelbook release with a slip. We got Knuckles. Um, this right here is a limited series that was on a uh, streaming service. I'm not sure if this is like a season one or if it's the entire series, but I did get that still book. I got Horizon Chapter One and American Saga with a slip, and I also got the still book release. Never have got to see that one yet. I'm definitely looking forward to checking it out. I got Icons on Earth Fast and Furious. This right here is one of the documentary series that Mill Creek has been putting out. Great series. I'm very happy to have another edition in the collection. They've done some other series in the past. I got my love affair with Marriage. It didn't come with a slip. I believe this is one that does not come with a slip, but that's an animated film. I also got Intensely Independent, 
the micro budget films of Blake Eckerd. So here's a DVD release from Synapse Films. I also got Ring Shark, the DVD release. This one, I can't remember exactly where this one came from, but it wasn't one of those Walmart ones. I also got Dark Knight of the Scarecrows, part one and two, the double feature on a 4K release. <clears throat> I got The Golden Lotus. This right here is from 88 Films, which I collect. And then To Kill a Mastermind is another one from 88 Films. And then I got this one. Um, I don't remember what this one's called. It's from 88 Films. The Shadows, The Shadow Boxing is what it's called. So I got that. Um, my last title from Via Vision that came in, um, it shipped with all my other titles from Australia, and that is the um, American Psycho Collection with the blood, the blood slip that goes around it. I'm keeping my sealed. I really don't want <clears throat> anything to leak out of it or to happen, so I'm just keeping it sealed up. I've got plenty, plenty of copies of American Psycho on 4K that I can watch, and I really want to check out American Psycho 2, um, but I do want to keep this blood um, packet sealed. So that's week two, and there's even more week two. We have another stack. We have Kill, the 4K release with the slip. Saw that one in the theater. I loved it. Um, also, we got Frogman from Walmart. This is the collector's edition. From what I understand, there's a more expensive edition. I got the steelbook release for Late Night with the Devil. Beautiful steelbook. I did an unwrapping of that if you want to check it out. I also got The Ones Who Live Season 1. I still need to watch this one. I got Richard Pryor live on the Sunset Strip 4K release. Then we had the release of Inside Out 2. I got the Blu-ray slipcover edition. <clears throat> also, I got Fatal Vision. This right here is from Kino Lorber. I got another Kino Lorber title with a slip, Avenging Force. Also, I got Rolling Vengeance. Zoltan, Hound of Dracula. I also got the Walmart exclusive 4K steelbook release for Inside Out 2. This is the only way that you're able to get a 4K release is from the steelbook. And then also I got the beautiful steelbook for Kiel um, on 4K from Walmart, I do believe. No, actually this is a wide release if I remember correctly, but I did an unwrapping of that one also. So all of those are the titles from week two. Okay, from week three, which was the lightest week of the month, I got this, um, The Great Escape, Part 2, The Untold Story. Beautiful looking slipcover. This one just arrived. Um, I had ordered this. I had ordered this, and it was delayed. But it's got a beautiful slipcover. It's a, it's a TV film type thing, I do believe. I've heard some mixed things about it, but it does have Christopher Reeve in it. So very happy to have that one in the collection. I also got the Arrow release for Riddick um, on 4K from the Barnes & Noble sale. Also, I got Torso 4K from the Barnes & Noble sale. I did a video of all the titles that I picked up from that sale if you want to check it out. I got Reacher Season 2. I've heard great things about Reacher. I wanted to check that season, that series out. Got Bringing Out the Dead, uh, Paramount Presents 4K release. Heard great things about that one. I got the 4K um, Doomsday release from Scream Factory. I've seen Doomsday before, really enjoyed it, so it's really nice to have this nicer edition. And then lastly for the week three, I got Mother's Instinct. Um, this right here was released. I watched the trailer for it. I knew that it wasn't going to have a slip because it doesn't have a slip. Um, but I thought it looked interesting enough to add to the collection. Now, for week four, <clears throat> this is the final week, another huge week. I got Nikita, 4K release from Studio Canal from the UK. I got Body Double, 4K release. Need to check it out. I got two releases for Stardust on 4K. We have a Walmart exclusive and the regular release. I did unboxings uh, and unwrapping of both of those. I also got Redneck Miller. This right here is a. Um, this right here is from Film Film Movement. 
comes with a slip cover. I don't know that it came out in week four. I want to say that this one came out earlier in the month, but it just arrived today, so I had it in the wrong stack. I got the Lady Killers 4K release. Long Legs with a slip cover 4K release. I really enjoyed that one. From Keno Lorber, I got um, Agatha Christie's Murder on the Orient Express. Never seen this one before. I do enjoy those films. And so I'm very happy to have this one in the collection to check out. I got the 4K release for Despicable Me 4 with a slipcover. I got the, Exor the Exorcism, um, which does not come with a slip. I got Bad Boys, Ride or Die, 4K release with a slip. Enjoyed that one in the theater. I got Link, 4K release from Kino Lorber. I also got from the UK this Joker, um, the Joker, um, 4K steelbook release with this yellow box. Happy to have that. Got the stand. This right here is a Walmart exclusive steelbook release. Um, I also got the 4K steelbook release for Bad Boys Ride or Die. I got this beautiful box set for the Hitcher from Second Sight. My set came in. I ordered directly from Second Sight from the UK and it came in great condition. Um, I thought it was gonna be harder to get in the US, so I did order from Second Sight back when it was first announced. They were accepting orders back then, and then after a week, I think they quit taking orders because they were not supposed to be shipping to the US. I don't know what that was all about. I did get the Friday the 13th Arrow release from the Barnes & Noble 50% off sale. This is the remake or the reboot. Really enjoyed this one. Very happy to have this edition in the collection. Um, I did a video, like I said before, of all of the Arrow releases that I picked up at 50% from Barnes and Noble. Um, and I'll leave a link down below of the 50% off code. You, I mean, not the 50% off code, but if you use um, code BASEMENT from the link that I'll have down below, which goes to the Arrow US site, you can save 10% off of all in stock items. So if you want to save 10% off, you missed out on the sale, then definitely check that link out down below. From Screen Factory, I got Village of the Damned 4K release. Um, from Eureka, I got The Champions. Also from Eureka, I got um, these two films. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to say these, I don't think. But anyway, you can see that on the screen. From Kino Lorber, I got Below the Belt. And then lastly, from the UK, I did get um, the Chucky Season 3 Steelbook release and also the box set. So I've been able to get the Steelbook and the box set for each of the Chucky TV series releases, Season 1, Season 2, and Season 3, which apparently Season 3 is the final season since it didn't get renewed. Um, but those are all of my pickups for the month of September. Like I said, it was a huge month. I still, I'm still waiting for a few titles to show up. Um, but hopefully you were able to pick up all of the titles that you wanted. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the titles that I picked up. And also let me know some of the titles that you were able to get that you would recommend that I pick up. Because I really do enjoy reading your comments. But thanks for taking the time to watch this video. And we will see you next time.